Ukrainian government forces may have used cluster munitions in populated areas in Donetsk in early October, according to a Human Rights Watch report released on Monday. Kiev has denied the allegations. Since all the parties to the conflict in eastern Ukraine use the same weapons, it's sometimes difficult to establish with certainty responsibility for a single attack. But for several attacks on Donetsk in early October, we have very strong evidence that it was the Ukrainian armed forces. Uh, the impact site showed that these rockets came from the southwest, and when we went there to areas controlled by the Ukrainian government forces, we found misfired rockets that showed that the rockets came from that area. The NGO added that it could not conclusively determine responsibility for many of the attacks and that both sides were probably guilty. The incidents were documented by Human Rights Watch during a week-long investigation, which included gathering physical evidence and interviews with witnesses and victims. <laughs> Если хотите, могу эту яму показать. И взорвалась, и прямо в окно, в окно, э, как его, она стояла возле окна. И разбила окно, это, этот осколок, и вот так вот солнечная артерия перерезала. During that time, Human Rights Watch said cluster munitions injured dozens and killed at least six civilians, including an employee of the International Red Cross. Cluster munitions are made up of a rocket or bomb that contains dozens of smaller munitions called submunitions. After launch, the container disperses the submunitions indiscriminately over a wide area that can be the size of a football field. The submunitions are designed to explode on impact. The first clue that cluster munitions have been used is usually the presence of multiple impact craters with a very distinctive fragment pattern. After the detonation of the submunition, the fragments are ejected and these melt. I'm sorry, they melt into the asphalt as they come out. Human Rights Watch said that 114 countries have signed a treaty banning cluster munitions because of the danger they pose to civilians. Ukraine has not joined the treaty. If confirmed, the use of cluster munitions by Kiev could lend support to Moscow's allegations that Kiev has used weapons against civilian areas. Kiev has accused the rebels of targeting civilian areas, and human rights groups have accused them of a variety of abuses. Antonio Mora.